Hey guys, today we're going to go over the Limble mobile application. If you don't already have it installed, you can go to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, type in Limble CMMS, and we'll appear at the top. Once you do have that installed, go ahead and open up the application, type in your email and password, and then go ahead and log in. If you don't have credentials already set up for Limble, you can talk to your manager and they can go ahead and get you added uh, in the Limble web application. Once you've logged in, uh, you'll see a default screen here with a couple tiles that are designed to help you with the, the common tasks that you'll do during the day. Uh, first and foremost, let's start with my tasks. What do you need to do? So we'll go ahead and click on this tile and you'll be able to see that I have two tasks here. I have a bad compressor and I have a quarterly maintenance PM. And so uh, it looks like this one has a higher priority. So we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and close out that bad compressor. So to see the details of that work, simply click on that blue lettering. And then you'll be able to take, be taken into the task screen. And in here, you can see the name of it, what, work, uh, what asset it's on, what type of work it is, your instructions, what you need to do, and so forth. And so in here, it looks like with this bad compressor, I need to go investigate and repair it. So I'll go out to the, the Goodman, uh, investigate, see what's wrong, see if it is indeed a bad compressor. Uh, in this situation, let's pretend it, it is a bad compressor. Um, so let's go ahead and check it off. We've investigated it. We've now repaired it. Maybe I'll want to add a picture or add a part, um, but I most definitely want to add a comment. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a comment saying the compressor is indeed bad, so I replaced it. And then adding comments really helps make sure that the right, uh, the, the right information is documented for that work. So in the future, you know exactly what's happened when you're reviewing an asset and seeing what, what happened last time it broke down and so forth. So forth. Now this screen here allows you to do a lot of other things. Uh, attach a picture, attach an invoice, um, attach a part, and so forth. And let's say that we're tracking compressors and we want to add that part. So we go ahead and click on this, choose the compressor that we used. And now you'll see that it adds it right above the instruction screen, the parts you may need. Additionally, there's this green check that shows, is it actually in stock? If it isn't in stock, you'll see a red X there. So now that we have all the work, uh, all the information documented on this piece of work, let's go ahead and close it out uh, by clicking complete. And now we'll enter in the final information, uh, which mostly is your time-based metrics and maybe parts and whatnot. So in here, let's say this took two hours to do. Um, it did cause some downtime. Let's say it took four hours of downtime. And it uh, most definitely took that compressor. And so we'll go ahead and click complete. And now, as you can see in my list of tasks to do, there's only one task left. That, that bad compressor work order is closed out, so it no longer shows in my list of what I need to do. So let's go ahead and do the quarterly maintenance next. And as you can see in here, we'll go ahead and reset this so you can see it from fresh. But as you can see in here, yeah, it's basically the same screen. What parts may you need? Um, so on this quarterly maintenance, we're going to be changing out a filter. Um, and then what are the instructions? And now you can tell with uh, a PM, there's more instructions. Um, and these instructions are actually set by your manager, what you need to do every three months to make sure that the asset stays well maintained. So first and foremost, gather the tools. Um, check for any loose panels. Um, let's say there were none, but if actually if there were some, you can see it gives you different instructions based on um, your answers. But let's say there was none. And, but, and as you can tell, it, it functions basically the same as that work order. You just go through and, and check it all off. Once you go ahead and, and record all this information, then you come in, complete the task, and you can see it's the same thing as before. How, many, how long did it take? Uh, how many parts did it use? And so forth. I'm not going to actually close out this, uh, this PM so I can show you a couple other things in the mobile application, namely how to change priority and look up an asset. But uh, uh, here's how you do that. So say this quarterly maintenance, you want to flag this as a higher priority. You can come in here and simply click this and then go ahead and change that. Let's put that as a high priority. Now you know in your list of tasks to do that this is the first thing that you need to get, uh, uh, get done. Additionally, you can click this green lettering here to load up um, that particular asset. 
And so in here you can get a lot of great information such as uh, some of the basic information like what is the serial number, what is the manual, what is the make, and so forth. But additionally, you can actually go and look at the log and see when, um, when was the last breakdown, uh, what work was done you know, before. And you can see that this has a lot of bad compressors. It seems like it's a recurring theme. Um, it looks like some electrical was done and, and so forth. So this, this link really allows you to very easily be able to figure out what's happening with a particular asset while you're actually working on it. So that's the My Tasks tile. The next one would be starting a work order. So let's say you're out in the field and, and you're doing some work and you need to log it. You'd simply click on Start a Work Order, choose the asset that you're working on. Let's, let's choose that Goodman again. Name the work that you're doing. So let's say replacing a uh, bad compressor again. Now let's just go ahead and leave that one blank. We'll go ahead and choose myself, click Start. And that brings you to that same screen as before. You can go ahead and check off that you've completed the work. I'll leave a comment for your boss or for your other maintenance techs. Maybe you wanted to add a picture or add a part or whatever the case may be. You can do that all right here. Go ahead and click complete. Log the hours. It took two hours. Didn't cause downtime. There were no invoices. And go ahead and click complete. And now you're done. Now the next tile is for reporting a problem. So let's say you're out in the field and you come across a, an issue, but you're not, you're not going to fix it on the spot. You just want to report it to your boss. Simply click report a problem, type in what the problem is. Uh, the HVAC is acting up again. Go ahead and attach a picture if you want. Choose the severity. Let's say that's a pretty high severity. Choose the asset. Let's choose the Goodman. Click submit. And now that problem is automatically submitted to the manager, uh, to your manager. Uh, he or she would have received an email and push notification letting them know that information that you typed in. That way they can go ahead and review it, see if it's something that needs to be done, and then assign it out to the maintenance team. Um, and as you can see, you can actually come to My Tasks and see this problem report that you put in there, um, uh, uh, that you put in there that your manager will see. The next tile is looking up an asset. In here, you simply click on look, an a look up an asset, choose the asset you want to look at, click select, and then it shows you that same screen before. You can go ahead and look at the information again. You can look at the work history. You can even look at the, the PM templates or open PMs. You can look at the work orders. Just a lot of great information designed to help you do your job better. The final uh, tile is look up a part. If you click on this, it shows the different parts that you have on inventory, and you can go ahead and click on one and get the, the exact quantity. So let's see, I wanted to see how many compressors we have in stock. I can go ahead and click compressor, and I can see I have four quantity. Um, so now I know that my I have enough compressors to do my job. Additionally, if I was doing a manual inventory, I can go in and, and one by one update how many compressors we have or how many filters we have or whatever the case may be, and then go ahead and click Save. I'm not going to update the quantity right now, so I'll just go ahead and exit out of that. And that's the Limbo mobile application. Um, if you have any additional questions or any questions about this tutorial at all, please feel free to reach out to us at mel at limbocmms, and we'd be more than happy to answer those. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and you have a great day.